I want to take a moment and go in depth on the $500,000 nearly frat party for the boys at UNC. That is a whole lot of natty light. The GoFundMe reads kind of like a joke or a meme, but it's for real, describing a now viral moment as students armored in vineyard vines in Patagonia fueled by Zinn and White Claw. Yeah, so uh, people across the country have rallied around this moment on UNC campus Tuesday when tensions really peaked. Pro-Palestinian protesters, they removed the American flag from the quad and they raised the Palestinian flag in its place. As the police moved in and, and chaos erupted, uh, it's said that these fraternity brothers protected the stars and stripes and kept it from touching the ground. People uh, on GoFundMe on that page are calling these young men patriots, and some people have rewarded that patriotism with as much as $10,000 donations. Look at some of these, several of them. It's unclear exactly where this money is going to go. The organizer on this GoFundMe says that they've hired an event planner and they're planning a rager. So uh, we'll see. But what a sad turn of events the whole thing is, right? with the American flag kind of once again being co-opted by everyone to make their point. I mean, think about it. The protesters removed it to defy our government's pro-Israel position, and the frat boys used it to show, I don't know, that, that the flag is an important symbol of pride and patriotism. Meanwhile, the flag is like, hey, I'm with both you guys. I mean, it's ironic, really. The protesters removed a flag that literally represents their right to protest. It's a flying symbol of that freedom, waving above them in support. And while the frat boys ran in to rescue it, the flag doesn't really need to be rescued. It's prepared to be torn down, even burned, because it stands for that too. That may pain you to hear, but it's kind of one of the reasons it's tough to be an American sometimes. You have to be able to watch people do something that you completely disagree with, while at the same time embrace their rights to do it. Of course, this flag was owned by the school, which makes this case a bit different, but the GoFundMe is clearly about more than private property, you know? If you read the post, it's written so cavalier. I'm, I'm not sure if it's meant to be serious and an actual fundraiser, or if it started as a joke that then took on a life of its own, but it, it tells a story that definitely describes good guys and bad guys. The good guys are protecting the flag, and the bad guys are called commie losers and unwashed Marxist hordes. Regardless of which side you relate to, the flag doesn't care. It doesn't stand for one side or the other. It stands for ideals, not left or right or Biden or Trump or pro-war or anti-war. It stands for you and the person you disagree with and both of you to have the rights to say so. All right, I get off the high horse now. Let me know what you think. Send me your thoughts. Email dan at wral.com. Tell me what is on your mind on this topic or any other, and we'll go in depth.